Hey guys, how you doing? JP Saricolia here. Now, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, came out 30 years ago. Uh, we just celebrated that anniversary last week. And just to think of it, it makes me feel old. Uh, because I remember going to watch it when, with, with my mother and my brother. I was a teenager. And, and I had a good time. It was a good laugh. It was fun. But of course, it's been that long. So I decided to watch it again. And in this video, I want to dissect the good and the bad. The things I like, the things I don't like, the things that still stand the test of time, and the things that don't. So in the next couple of minutes, stay tuned. The good. The most important aspect of this film, the most praiseworthy aspect, is the fact that it respects the source material. Yes, during that time, uh, Turtle Mania was very popular. There were the cartoons, you have the toy lines, you have video games on the NES, you also have the arcade. Those were phenomenal interpretations of the turtles, but they were more kitty like they were for kids. But uh, what the film did, and the film also was you know, geared towards all the audiences, but it really respected the more greedy aspect of the original uh, Mirage Studios comics. You know, it respected the creation of Peter Lair and Kevin Eastman. You can see that influence there in the story. See, it's inspired on the original comic books. And in my opinion, that was something new, something fresh. It, we didn't have a lot of movies like this during that time. Prior to that, we only had Superman movies. We had the Batman film, 1989 film. Those were great films, but they were inspiring characters that were very popular among the people that don't even read comics. This was the first time that you got to see a comic book story translated into a film. So people have said that Hellboy was the first one is not the turtles were the first one and uh, in my opinion it was great they did a fantastic job in respecting the source material and although the film took a lot of cues from the comic book story it doesn't really get greedy as the comic book story and in my opinion that's a good thing this is a film that still can be enjoyed by anyone you know it's not a film that you you feel bad because it's going to be too dark and and too heavy uh, it is not it is it's fun there's a lot of uh, there are jokes there are moments of uh, fun entertainment it's silly uh, and of course i love the fact that you know it's kind of like a walk on memory lane because it, it brings so many memories of the times of the early 90s you know with the music we listen the arcades you know the food we ate you know all those things that were so iconic of the time it feels that this film really portrays that so well and of course the images of new york city like the twin towers at the at the beginning of the film all of those things bring so many good memories and really things that you know right now they're so iconic another aspect i enjoy about this film is the fact that it feels organic it feels natural now i'm a big defender of cgi i love it in modern films uh, but sometimes it feels uh you know unnatural it feels cold uh you know that it lacks emotion but here of course everything is done back in the day of course they didn't have that cgi so everything is done in-house the suits of the turtles were created by jim henson so they feel natural they feel organic like you are right next to the turtles and that's great but also the sets you know the the sewers they look like real sewers grimy dirty filthy dark but the new york city the alleys all the shadows all of that enhances the experience also april o'neill she's a pretty woman but she's not like with a miniskirt she's not a, a, a sex symbol you know she is you know a normal new yorker would live in her life and doing what she's supposed to do everyone feels normal and in my opinion that's a great thing that's what i like i love about this film it's not pretentious in that way yes he has some quirky moments but it's because it's a film that is primarily directed towards a teenage audience but it's still it's a film that really keeps his feet on the ground the bad now it's time to talk about the bad now when you go back and look at this film after so many years you realize that there's a lot of silliness in it but you have to keep in mind that it is the product of its time it is a product of its time you know it really was targeted towards that audience that were growing up playing with the kenner figures watching the cartoons also uh, playing the video games uh, so this audience are the perfect audience which are mostly children or young teenagers and of course those are the ones that are going to accept whatever is thrown at them so it is silly it is you know f full of jokes and some things that really don't make sense even the backstory is flimsy at best um you know the story of the shredder of splinter and it, the, the fights are very silly you know they're not well choreographed but it, it was good for the time but doesn't mean that it's perfect uh in today's standards 
Another aspect some people are not going to like about this film in today's world is that there's a lot of things that actually are considered now taboo or inappropriate. You know, there are a couple jokes that were, I would say, now looking at it from today's perspective, they are inappropriate. Or there are times where you see kids smoking or drinking, which something that we try to not encourage in today's world. But during that time, this is the 90s, you know, like people were okay with that or, you know, that was something that people didn't find offensive as much as we do nowadays. So, yeah, there are a couple of things that haven't really translated so well, but you have to keep in mind, again, that this is the product of its time. During that time, people didn't care much about those things, but definitely they're going to raise some eyebrows in today's world. In conclusion, well... I can tell you this, uh, I watched this with my wife over the weekend and I really had fun with it. And after all these years, it, it, it still holds well. It's a film that holds well. I've seen other films that haven't done that good and they're actually newer and they just came out a few years back and they don't hold so well. This one does. Um, yes, there's a lot of silliness, but it's a good film that you can watch with your kids. There's some elements that might, you might, some people might consider inappropriate, but they're not, uh, I would say, pervasive or they're strong. And sometimes they just, some kids might not even pay attention or even really uh, see the reference. But of course, you know, it is a product of the 90s. It's still fun. And my opinion, still, after all these years, still the best Standard Mutant Ninja Turtles movie we had. Secret of the Ooze was the follow up of this film. Not that great. The third one, not that great either. And of course, you got the Standard Mutant Ninja Turtles, the TMT that came out uh, some years back. That was all uh, CGI, not that great. And of course, the uh, most recent films, which Michael Bay films, so you can call it like that, because he was part of the production team, not that great of movies. So of course, we have seen the Tennessee Turtles expanded and grow in so many ways, but still, I think this film calls to be the best so far. I just hope we, uh, at some point we can get a film that resembles some of this, but also, most importantly, resembles the original comics. You know, in my opinion, that will be the best of all you know that would be the best film but so far until now this is the film to watch so if i have to give this film a final score in my opinion it's an 8 out of 10 which in my opinion means that it's excellent and it's excellent for what it is some people might do less but i'm a big fan of the turtles and i grew up reading the you know in this case the comics watching the cartoons doing all sort of things so i say this is what it is this is perfect the perfect film for now so my friends, what is your opinion? Are you a fan of the film? Have you watched the film? Do you don't like the film? You don't think it holds so well? Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. God bless you. Take care. And I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.